Good afternoon, and welcome back to Robinhood Trader. I'm your host, Billy Bob Jean, and today I'm going to be talking about a stock, a stock that you should look into, or at least add into your um, portfolio. Now, I am not a uh, professional um, investor, nor am I a financial advisor, so please take anything I say as more of like a friend talking to you than uh, an actual advice. Today's stock is going to be pretty fast, uh, actually one of the fastest stocks. Now, this baby went up $30 in less than a few days. I'm talking about Lunar, not Lunar the uh, not Lunar the crypto, but Lunar the, the 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 stock that did a merger with a SPAC. Now the merger probably went through on February 15, the night of February 15, morning of Thursday, and this thing went up from 10 bucks to 40 in no time. Lunar uh, ticker symbol L U N R and it is intuitive machines now i'll make this real real fast for you it's been a minute hit that like subscribe is this a good stock well they already have a bunch of government contracts they got one two three four and that's a five right there those have not expired yet everything else they've had was you know chump change uh one of the earliest ones they had was for seven but seven thousand dollars come on but these are multi-million dollar uh, contracts, of course, from some of the biggest uh, spenders. We got the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. We got the Department of Defense. So uh, are they going to make money? Yes. Uh, you know, we got 102 million, 58 million, 47 million. That's 200 million. We got about 250 million dollars coming in soon. Now, just to, to make it even more easier for you to even have a breakdown of everything. You know, they're nine-year uh, old lunar service company, leading position in NASA, our Artemis program with 73 million, just two, two, 2021, and 88 million, 2022, 300 million in 2023. Those are the revenues. Uh, it says here that Artemis envisions a permanent moon base and thriving lunar economy so if you guys can see we're kind of pretty much done with earth earth is done you know we got too much things going on too many tiktokers too many big boggers we we need what's the next thing and mars is way too far so what's the next best thing is it lunar well since you made it this far i want to give you a little bit of insight on these stocks now this stock is a Merger SPAC it starts at ten dollars and it can't trade much lower than ten. And usually it has a big up. And then, do you think a massive down or a miniature down? Well, let me give you the same exact company, one actually that's better than this company. And it went through the same thing. It's called Virgin Galactic Holdings. Now, did I tell you guys to buy the stock back then? I did. But did I tell you to sell? I did. So you should have listened. Life is not about buying. It's about buying and no one want to sell. Anybody can buy, but you got no one to sell. Now, this stock started the same way. Started out $10, right? Had a little down, you know. This was, this was a tough time. 2019 was a tough time. But even during COVID, this thing went up to 33 bucks. Now, why is that? Because these SPACs have certain dates, where certain warrants can be used and there are certain deadlines. These are not normal companies that just go public. This company did not just go public because, you know, it made a certain amount of money. Or, no, this thing just merged with a company that was already kind of pre-existing and it's a special place acquisition. It's just a placeholder. But we can go into a little bit more and, and see, does Lunar have a future or is it going to be just Lunar? Like actual Lunar. The, the crypto and just crash and make everyone broke. Now, is it a good time to get in at $40? No. And if I could short the stock, I would. I would short it every single dime. Why? Because at $40, you're paying way too much. And I don't care that the market cap is only trading at three times where the total revenue, well, it's only at a point, it's $2 billion. I don't care because it's going to go down. And if it doesn't go down and it goes up more, it's going to go down. It's just meant to be. These are not companies that are working based off income 
or based on like, oh, we're, we're, we got 30 years of experience. No, this is nine years of lunar experience. I mean, they got a couple of people in their thing, but let's just keep reading. They got 120 billion total opportunity over the next 10 years. 120 billion with a significant IP asset and high ROIC at scale with durable growth trajectory and margin expansion. Now, what is this all malarkey? As President Biden said, it's just malarkey. It's just real malarkey. It says here, it's a quick little, I can put it down, space.com. It's a uh, little excerpt. It says, in 2023, which is their 10th year, this is this year, Intuitive Machines will deliver five payloads for NASA to the lunar surface as part of their long-awaited IM-1. If we go on their website themselves, you can see this is the payload. Beautiful thing. Beautiful. I mean, they've spent at least $250 on Fiverr. This thing is wonderful. One thing that really, really, I, I mean, I'm all for hype beasts, but what is this? What is this? Why is Columbia a clothing brand sponsoring these payloads? That's what I want to know. That's what I really want to know. But they have a whole, uh, I mean, no, no time, no time. It just says here. Gives you the, the whole Novak launch countdown, launch broadcast, transit, lunar orbit insertion, lower, uh, low lunar orbit, landing maneuver, landing. Like I said, they've been on Fiverr. They went a little crazy. I mean, I'll let you guys listen to a little bit. Oof, you hear that music? Yeah, I'm inspired. I'm inspired to not buy the stock. I'm inspired to short the stock. I'm inspired to... Uh, dump the stock why at this point they're just they're just pulling our legs is this company worth it well why not buy galactic orbit you know virgin is, is a big company and i know they can i know they can you know hold their ground you know they got other lunar access services ride share you know and like i said like i, I don't know who's I don't know which graphic designer they have on this, but you can use Night Cafe. Probably have an AI make this for you. They got a nice little, uh, what do they call it? Umla, I think they call it, you know, for all you, for all you, uh, they got a big team. They have 200 employees. It's a pretty big team. It's not, you know, but my local McDonald's, they have at least 80 people working there. So 200 employees to send someone to the moon. Yeah. How about you hire a couple more people? You know? Three NASA lunar missions? Show the facts. 27 inventions. Hey, Tesla himself has like a, a billion of them. I mean, is it worth it to own the stock? I'd say look at this. This is the latest news, January 24th, 2023. And they felt... And this is a NASA... Like, you know what I'm saying? This is a graphic design. They felt like this... Which I think is literally just a, I think all they did was literally just copy and paste the picture they had over there into here. And I see this as just a hype, like a hype train. You know, they wanted something to add. And this was it. I mean, they got a beautiful, wonderful uh, logo. And for Brandon, I mean, I can see Columbia go on. But do I think this is a real company that's going to do real stuff? No, not for me at least. I mean, they got some big promises here. They got 279 from Lunar Access Services. Lunar Data Services, 106 million. Orbital Services, 129 million. Space Products and Infrastructure, 246 million. About 759 million. A little under a billy. A little under a billy. You know, Bill Gates donated about $4 billion. So Bill Gates donated more than these people are getting. To literally go to the moon. If you made it this far, shout out to Bill Gates. Like I said, Virgin Galactic Holdings, it's a better company. They have better uh, infrastructure. They have a better um, market. You know, I, I think going to the moon is cool, but I think just tourism, just going outside Earth and just looking at Earth and being like, damn, I'm glad I'm not there. 
that's worth a ticket. But lunar exploration, ain't no one trying to go to the moon. It's too cold up there. And we don't need, there's no substances in the moon. There's nothing in the moon. If, if it was worth it to go to the moon, um, we would have been back there a while ago. Anyways, if you guys made it this far, I hope you liked the video. I'm going to try to upload a little bit more. My goal now is to get to 100,000 subscribers. My first goal was to get monetized, and I did that pretty fast. So now let's see how fast can I get to 100,000 subscribers. I really want that silver plaque. You know, I got a brand new office, and uh, I have a nice little uh, shelf for it. You know, uh, and I do want to show my, my face in these videos, hopefully maybe in like 10,000 subscriber, maybe like 50,000 subscriber. See, I got big dreams, and you should too, and stay away from Looter. Not advice, just what I'm going to do.